The textile is delicate, almost like a spider's web when it sways. It is drawn from bolts of hard work and patience, from knowledge transferred from generation to generation. Its journey is long, starting from the earth and being passed around by many adept hands until it is refined. The graceful swath of fabric is the end, and it is also the beginning, as it is transformed by the imagination an emblem of singularity and community, of creativity and identity. The weaving of textiles is one of the ancient crafts of humanity, using a wide range of materials sourced from the environment. It is also one of the most fascinating elements of our intangible cultural heritage, which comprises traditions and living expressions inherited from ancestors and passed on to descendants. In the Philippines, different indigenous peoples possess different weaving traditions using different plant fibers. In Central Philippines, the Akyaron people of the province of Aklan in Panay Island is known for weaving a distinctive fabric using a very unusual material, fibers extracted from pineapple leaves. Considered the finest locally produced hand-woven textiles, the piña is known for its exquisite beauty, delicacy, and durability. Because of its quality, relative rarity and value, Filipinos take pride in the piña textiles which are used in fashion and finery and passed down as heirlooms. The piña textile is the most preferred material for Philippine traditional formal attires such as the iconic Barong Tagalog and Terno. Thus, this epitome of Akyanon traditional craftsmanship and ingenuity has become one of the distinctive markers of ethnic community and national identity of the Filipinos. Piña weaving is considered as a family and community heritage in several municipalities of Aklan. Master weavers in the communities, usually elders who have inherited the skills from their forebears, pass on the knowledge and skills to the younger generations. Other components of the piña making process are also usually similarly passed on. Raakon katong naabutan nga habong ay ako nga lula mga katiyahan at saka yung di ka banda sa buswang manughabong abong manughabong kara sa buswang tapos inanay ko eh talagang naghabong tag may borda bang natawag nung may ano yung parang ang borda nanda eh bandera elementary tumutulong lang muna sa nanay tapos nang na, tapos ako ng high school, naghanap ng trabaho, nagtindera, nag <laughs> nag-sales lady, tapos parang na, na ano, napagod na. Bumalik ulit sa bahay, doon na nag-umpisa ng mag-weave, ng diretsa ng weave. Ako si Raquel Eliserio. 32 to 33 years na akong nag-weave. Apo, um... At siyempre hanggang ngayon, tuloy-tuloy pa din yan hanggang sa nagkaroon din ng maraming weavers na ipasa sa mga anak. Malapit ako sa lola ko at lolo. Para, ako din kasi talagang ako din yung paborito. Parang paborito nga po. So madalas ako sa kanila pumupunta. Ang trabaho nila is nag-script, nagkikigi sila. Parang, parang ang saya lang na kasama ka sa pag-harvest, may nahihinog na bunga. Na, Doon ako nagsimula na... Nakilala ko ang pinya hanggang uh, nag-aral uh, nag na ako ng elementary. So doon ako nag-umpisa na magnat, nagka-interest din akong magnat. Nagbebenta rin ako uh, hanggang 
nakita ko kung paano sila na magproseso. Nakita ko kung ano ang tamang uh, uh, edad ng pinya, ano ang magandang quality. Kumbaga yung standard na dapat ng i-harvest, gamitin sa natin. Uh, sa 16 kasi nag-umpisa na rin ako nag-weave noon. Uh, kumukuha lang muna ako ng materials sa De La Cruz House of Pinya noon. Uh, Nag-start akong mag-business. Muna, uh, ako nag-scrape ng dahon. So, pinanat ko siya sa mga kapitbahay, sa mga auntie ko. Tapos ako na rin ang bumibili. Marunong na rin ako sa proseso ng warping. Nag-warp din ako. So lahat yun natutunan ko. The process of producing the piña textile is arduous, beginning with the cultivation of the pineapple to the weaving itself. The whole process involves different communities and different people and sectors of the community, farmers, scrapers, knotters, warpers, weavers, traders, and designers. The Piña Bisaya or Ananas Camosus is the pineapple variety specifically used for the hand loom weaving. It takes 18 to 24 months for the pineapple to mature. The fibers are extracted from the mature leaves, a procedure delicate and tedious. The leaves provide two kinds of fibers, the rough fiber called bastos, and the fine fiber called liniwan. Using a shard of porcelain, the stripper removes the epidermis of the leaf, extracting the bastos. After stripping the rough fibers, a coconut shell is run on the inner layer to extract the more valued liniwan. The degumming process entails repeated washing in running water, usually in rivers. The fibers are then hung to dry. Dried and bundled, the fibers are ready to be sold. It will be weighed and priced using a local system. Before weaving, the fibers are knotted together to form long, continuous strands and spooled around bamboo bobbins to prevent tangling. Threads are then put into a sapungan, or warp wheel, for desired dimensions. After all these, the weaving begins using the hand loom. Nung una po talagang nagtry ako is ang dami kong oras na ginugol doon. Sabi ko nga po ay nagkapaltos yung siko. Kaya hindi ko nga po napansin ilang araw na lang nagpabalat na pala to siko ko. Tapos narealize ko din mismo doon sa mga ginawagawa kong mali kung paano pala siya gawin tama. Inulit-ulit ko lang hanggang naging maganda, hanggang may nagawa pa pala akong mas maganda pa. At uh, isa pa doon na ma nakakapagbigay sa amin, sa akin ng inspiration gumawa ng magandang design eh. Tuwing gagawa ko ng design, naaamay sila. Naisip ko na para sa amin eh, napakasimple lang sa akla ng design na to. Tapos pag dinisplay mo pala siya sa exhibit, ang tingin na nila eh, parang ang wow. ah, nasa pedestal na ako mismo parang ayoko na siya hawakan lalo na yung spotlight, yung ilaw nakatutok sa kanya pag tinignan ko siya, parang mahal niya pero pag kaming gumagawa parang normal lang din na, kasi ginagawa namin eh pero sa, sa mata ng ibang tao sa mata ng dayuhan, napakamahal niya opo, parang proud na din napakasarap ng pakiramdam na ang gawa namin ay ang tingin nila napaka taas, binibigyan ng value na. The hand-woven piña textile has been a pride and marker of cultural distinction for the Akyanon as well as of the whole Philippines. It is an articulation of native aesthetics and a legacy born of passion and patience. It is also a creative expression that nurtures a sense of belongingness and promotes social cohesion within and among families and communities.